Hello everyone and welcome back once again. Uh, so as you can see, got something completely different yet again. <laughs> so this turned up today in the post. So I've never had anything from this brand actually before. I think it's pronounced Marklin. I'm not sure. I do apologize if I'm getting that wrong. But HO scale, VR260, the diesel locomotive as a switcher. So Made in West Germany as well, that's pretty cool. I mean, I've had HO locomotives in the past before, but nothing by this brand, so it came up at a lower price anyway. Second hand, but still, it's okay. So, take it out. Nice little packaging. It's got some weight to it as well. Okay, I'll get this out about dropping it. Okay, of course you get your yeah, menu. Yeah, I think this one is digital as well, I'm not sure. This just might explain it, but yeah, look through that later. <laughs> the locomotive itself, so it's in this nice, I guess you could call it a block of ice style packaging. And a couple of spare springs on top. Maybe for the brushes, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, how does this one open? Change this lighting a bit. Get that out of the way. Oh, that's it's fairly heavy for its size. Not sure how old this is, but it's in fairly good condition. Wow, it's got some out metal as well. I think Mark really does their pickups a bit different. It's probably the third pickup, but I guess it doesn't work on the typical HO track. I don't have any HO track anymore. So I can't test it anyway. I guess in a good bit of time I have to pick up some uh, track for it. The Marklin track, because like I said, it's not done work on a typical HO track. detail and the buffers are not sprung also there's obviously a couple of different well I think these you know the, the magnet on the track they actually can uncouple and couple the carriages with a remote, remote switch or something I'm not sure Lights there, right up top there. I don't really know much about these locomotives, sorry. <laughs> I've grabbed it because it was an interesting one anyway. I've never had a few Australian locomotives and a few, I guess, British ones and American ones. I've not had anything from Germany before, so. Why not? Had it for the burgers, but not much. I guess if I do get some track, I'll get it running. We can do a video of it running. 
Alright guys, well, just a quick video for today, and uh, take care, and see you next time, bye.